Hi, welcome to today's video. I'm going to talk today about the popular note-taking app Obsidian, which I discovered nine months ago. I've since used it to write notes, do assignment, and keep track of other aspects of my life. I'll give some insights as to how I find it useful as a student, and what I think I'll use it for going forward. So let's dive into my notes anyway. We can see that this is my index note. This is where all the categories connect to each other. Each of these are indexes for what they represent, and further along the line until you reach the actual content. As a student, it's very easy to get overwhelmed by notes, handouts, and keeping track of everything. When I discovered Obsidian in April, I had previously been trying to use Notion for taking notes, which didn't go well. I found that Notion didn't lend itself easily to the ease of access which Obsidian has. There seems to be a weird learning curve to Notion, whereas Obsidian seems to adjust to your workflow. I started properly taking notes in my math module at the end of semester 2. If we go inside the college note, we can see that it's divided into different years in their semesters. If we click on the second semester of the second year, we get brought to a map of content for the modules which I took in that semester. The formatting here is a bit nasty, but these were some of the first content maps I made, so they aren't well refined. Anyway, if we jump into some of the maths topics, we can see that there are some pretty long notes with a lot of LaTeX content, which is something I wanted to use in my note, but found hard to do it in Notion. As this is one of my earlier notes, we can see that the formatting's a bit all over the place, but the main idea is there. It's a clear and easy way to read your notes and to make sure that everything is in a way that you can get to it quickly and easily. Over the summer break, I learned how to code in JavaScript and decided to track my knowledge of it inside of Obsidian, essentially creating my own documentation for what I knew. This is where Obsidian's usefulness became apparent as using the search and wiki link features, I found it easy to create and navigate the notes I'd written about the language. It also has a really nice code syntax feature, which allows you to easily read the stuff that you write. Then following on from that, I tried to apply it in other parts of my life in an attempt of what other Obsidian users call personal knowledge management, which is, I guess, how I was using it before, but I wasn't really fully committed. I started trying to track my day and write daily notes, along with trying to review notes and write about features of my life outside of learning in college. This is when I realised how I didn't really enjoy Obsidian anymore. Where plugins had once felt useful and easy to use, I was finding them cluttered and annoying. I tried using a calendar plugin within Obsidian, but found that it was difficult to use and didn't really help any of my time management problems. I stopped using Obsidian for a while. I found that I had thrown everything I wanted to do with it, and it had only let some of it stake. One of the massive things that turned me away was the lack of cheap syncing options to iOS. I'd been using the Get Sync plugin, which worked amazingly, but as soon as I wanted to use it on my iPad or iPhone, I was drawing blanks unless I paid $10 a month for Obsidian Sync feature. I started to move back to Obsidian to use it to write assignments and to keep track of simple things in college, but I had fully switched my note-taking style to handwritten in GoodNotes 5 on the iPad, as Obsidian's handwriting note plugins were not very nice to use such as Excalibur. One thing I love about Obsidian is the graph view, and how it lets you see how your notes are interconnected. I think it's an important thing as a student to see where different modules intersect, and how they all relate to each other. But it wasn't enough to keep me using the program. So in total, the pros and cons of Obsidian. The pros are definitely the ease of access once you open it. As long as you structure your notes properly, I haven't found anything that lets you access your data quicker. The community plugins are definitely a huge pro, as there are some truly amazing plugins that let you do some cool stuff. The layout and UI feels nice. You rarely have to move your hand off the keyboard when you're writing a note. The cons though. Lack of cheap sync options for mobile makes it difficult to use cross-platform. If you're looking for an all-in-one app to track your time and your days and write notes, Obsidian isn't 100% of the way there for me, although I know that isn't its main purpose. There's no real handwriting support. I know this wouldn't work well with their markdown system, but it would still be a huge positive if it did exist. All in all, I think Obsidian is an amazing piece of software. It is simple, yet it is powerful if you use it properly. And that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching.